Hi everyone, welcome back. What a great week we had here. So much exciting and learning opportunities throughout the week, including Terry Fox and getting ready for Rosh Hashanah, which is coming up on Monday and Tuesday. Just want to share a short thought with you, hopefully not too short, maybe not too long, about Rosh Hashanah and this week's Parsha. And there's a story about an American Jewish woman in her 60s who traveled to North India to see a celebrated guru. There were huge crowds waiting to see the holy man, this holy guru, but she pushed through the crowd saying that she needed to see him urgently. Eventually, after weaving through all the crowds, she entered the tent and stood in the presence of the guru himself, the master himself. What she said that day has entered the realm of legends. She said, Marvin, listen to your mother. Enough already, come home. So the beauty of Jewish spirituality is precisely that Judaism, God, is close to us. You don't need to climb a mountain. You don't need to climb Mount Everest or enter any divine presence anywhere in the world. Hashem is there right around the Shabbat table when you sit with your family. He's there when you're lighting the candles. He's there when you make the bracha on the wine for Kiddush, on the bracha for challah, and when parents bless their children, when children are laughing around the table, in the peace of mind, when you leave the world to look after itself for a day, while you celebrate the good things that come, not from working, but resting, not from buying, but enjoying things, the gifts you have had all along, but you didn't have time to appreciate. That's where the holiness, that's where the connection is to God. And if you look around, he's everywhere. He's there in front of you. He's there behind you. He's not in all the philosophies and texts and everything. God is around us. He's surrounding us everywhere. All you got to do is listen. And all you got to do is truly enjoy the moments. Every moment if you can. I know it's hard. But that's the point. That's how we can connect. And when we come up to Shabbat or a Rosh Hashanah or a Yom Kippur and we hear the sound of the shofar, which brings tears to our eyes and remembrance to us, that's when we're connecting to Hashem. So Hashem really is really close to us everywhere we go. And that's what it's all about. And that's what we try and enrich our children with as parents, as educators. We want our children to realize that Take a pause, take a break, and listen to the sounds of nature. You'll hear Hashem everywhere in front of you and the beauty of the world around us. And it's so special. Hashem gives us the gifts of Rosh Hashanah to spend even more time with our family. Talk to Him, connect with Him, connect with our family. That's what it's all about. I want to wish you all Ishana Tova Umetuka, a year filled with success and happiness and good health, good, good health for everyone, and lots of laughs and smiles every single day here at our school and at home, and that we should all have nachat, we should all have enjoyment from our children and from our family, and then we, we all continue to grow every single day, not just physically, but spiritually. Have yourself a Shana Tovah Metuka and Shabbat Shalom. We'll see you back here after Rosh Hashanah on Wednesday.